And welcome back, Haskey here with another guide for Banjo-Kazooie. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to activate the Witch Switch and collect the Witch Switch Jiggy on Free ZZ Peak. This is a pretty good one, it's got a couple of steps involved, and the switch itself I think is hidden pretty well, as far as Witch Switches go. In this case, it's actually going to be hidden inside an enemy, which I believe is unique in Banjo-Kazooie. So anyway, first off, we're going to come over here to this flight pad on this giant pile of presents. We're going to get ourselves into the air. And luckily, the nearest snowman is actually that enemy that contains the witch switch this time. There we go. We're going to go ahead and swoop on over there and activate that. If you're having trouble hitting those snowmen, um, I suggest do as I did just there and just get right up in their face before activating the beak bomb ability. Um, if you if you try to do it from too far away, it might look cool, but it's it's really easy to just go whizzing past the target that you're trying to hit. So just keep that in mind if you struggle with it. Anyway, though, that's actually all we have to do within the level itself. So we will head back towards the exit pad now. Back in Gruntilda's lair, we're gonna take a quick glance over here. That's where we're going to be climbing up that structure. It's like a big advent calendar. But before we do, we're going to want to come out here. And I, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and attack this enemy since he was just right in front of me. I feel like that guy's going to get in my way one of these days. I don't think he actually has, though. But more importantly, yeah, we're going to take care of those cobwebs there. Those have got to go before you even attempt this. So heading back towards the level now, we will now use the jump pad to start climbing up this thing. Up we go. And now that we're on this level here, you're going to see another jump pad. You can just walk right on past that. We're not interested in that. And here on the leftmost side, you'll see a flight pad switch. Go ahead and take a deep breath whenever you're ready and activate that. Now, the moment you get control of Banjo-Kazooie again, you're going to want to activate the Talent Rod ability and grab those turbo trainers that you'll see there. And now you can see kind of why we needed to take care of those spider webs beforehand, because we would not have had any time to do that after activating that flight pad switch. The timing on this whole thing is quite tight, and I think if there is any one secret to this whole thing, it's um, probably that the tur you don't need to wait for the turbo trainers to expire before you can start flying. So like the moment you drop down in there and land on that flight pad, you wanna mash A. Don't, don't wait for the shoes to go away or something. But anyway, after that, it's just a matter of flying through the tunnel, and you can go ahead and collect that which switch jiggy. And <laughs> nice. I was trying to... Uh, try something out that someone uh, mentioned in the Click Clock Wood music note guide. Uh, someone mentioned if you do the ground pound ability and fall off a ledge after using the ground pound, like before you touch the ground, you actually don't take any fall damage as I run out of video. Anyway, that's an interesting trick. I'll try to talk about that later in a different video. Anyway, that's going to do it for the Witch Switch guide on Freeze Easy Peak. Coming up next will be Mad Monster Mansion. Stay tuned for it, and I will see you in the next video.